Halloween officially comes to a close. Check out a family tradition here happening right in the tri-state. The Hiley family has been putting on this special spooky performance for more than 60 years now. WCPO 9 News reporter Sam Harrow Simowitz shows us the sights, sounds, and scares from this homemade house of horrors. If you're a Hiley, October 31st might just be the biggest day of the year. We love Halloween. Um, it's in our genes, it's in our genetics, I'd say, from Grandma Hiley. Spooks and scares have been passed down from generation to generation. Our grandmother started it at her house over in Covedale. That was 1959 or so. She was probably making, she used to make dummies, like Halloween dummies for the kids, and then that morphed into what we call a show. The show has become a highly family legacy. All of the grandkids will spend time developing ideas. The family says it's all about bringing some festive Halloween fun to their neighbors. We have never charged a dime wow. from the beginning. This is all oh. just for everyone's enjoyment. So after I got a sneak peek, it was time to experience this year's highly haunted house. And the journey through the haunted home began. We made our way through a convenience store, got locked in a fridge, climbed through a murky swamp, before coming face to face with Frankenstein's monster. When the monster came to life, so did my fears. But everyone made it out safely with a bunch of Halloween fun. Do you guys like to be scared? Yeah. Yeah. As you saw, some of the spooks and scares inside the house got me pretty good. The Hiley family said they'll continue their Halloween night tradition for years to come. Reporting in Miami Township, Sam Harris-Somowitz, WCPO 9 News.